kind of cloudy, misty out under lockdown. So we'll do the video inside today. I watched a couple of videos. Now, one of them I'm going to let you see, the other one I'm going to let you hear. And it's just absolutely disgusting. Let's go ahead and hear this one while we look at the board or do something while you hear this. What do you say the Americans were scared though? I guess nearly 200 dead, 14,000 who are sick, millions, as you witnessed, who are scared right now. What do you say to Americans who are watching you right now who are scared? I say that you're a terrible reporter. That's what I say. Right. I think clear. it's a very nasty question, and I think it's a very bad signal that you're putting out to the American people. The American people are looking for answers, and they're looking for hope. Bad reporting. And you ought to get back to reporting instead of sensationalism. Let's see if it works. It might, and it might not. I happen to feel good about it, but who knows? I've been right a lot. Let's see what happens, John. To the Quebec and science and logistics, the, the units that were ordered, are they... For the next video is in Florida, where Florida is one of those states that's going to explode with coronavirus outbreak because the mayor, Palm Trailer, says that she doesn't have to do anything about getting people off the beaches because she doesn't think it's necessary. Now, the commissioner, Omar, he comes in and he tells it like it is and I'm all for him. I think he needs to be the next president of the U.S. Can we do it? Can we get him up and running as an independent before the uh, <laughs> November election, which is going to be called off, obviously. There's always things that pop up that we can do better on um, and I call the question. I'm sorry, that's not how this works. We each have an opportunity to speak five minutes. I, believe, I thought we did. Yeah, the question has no, been called. So, no, I'm sorry. We've been so then that's not how calling the question works. You need a second and you need to vote then on it. Then I have a second uh, for calling so the question. Are you telling me that you're going to keep me from talking right now? You talk to leave me. Look, I'll look here. Me. You're calling me disrespectful because I've interrupted people, but this gentleman has turned off people's lights in the middle of a global health pandemic. That's what that gentleman did. Point of order. And you think I'm disrespectful for interrupting you? Point of order. This gentleman has point had the ability to do any number of things. Point we could have banned large gatherings. We could have closed the beach. We could have put a moratorium on 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 I on recessed utility the cutoffs. I recessed. The also, not within your power. And the attorney has held that that's true. I recessed the meeting. You came up with new rules at the beginning of the meeting, and then you didn't even want them to follow the rules that you came up with. This is a banana republic is what you're turning this place into with your so-called leadership. Does a recess mean that we will be... <laughs> yes. I don't, I don't care anything about this. I don't care anything about this. Does we should have been talking about this last week. Can we... we cut off people's utilities this week and made them pay what could have been their last check to us to turn their lights on in a global health pandemic. But you don't care about that and you didn't want to meet. But every other year you go around and beg people for their votes. Can we uh, explain the reason? you care more about your relationship with that guy than you care about the relationship with the people who don't go to work in this I'm building. You are done. You are done. The orange man isn't going to go anywhere. Um, but anyway, this is a tell it like it is video. And I appreciate one person in all of the U.S. who has the balls to stand up and tell it like it is. We have so much wimped over patheticness. Now, if one person was shot by somebody from the Middle East, you'd spend trillions of dollars, the federal government, bombing and killing and transporting stuff and all this against terrorism. We have 11,200 people dead from a worldwide virus which is here in the U.S. It's worse than any terrorism, but yet we're going to let each individual state and county try and deal with this mess. Worldwide, we have 272,000 people infected that we know of. So in the U.S., we have 75 million people told to stay inside. 265 people have died. And what is the person in the White House doing? Giving himself 10 for a great job. The U.S. is probably going to be one of the worst hit countries in the world. We're going to have so many people dead, 
and such a mess because of this orange man. And these reporters that ask the orange man questions are so timid. They don't stick together as a team. They're all individual. And they, they think they, they don't need to stick up for people who tell the truth. It seems like that's the case all over the U.S. The rest of the world's not putting up with bad leadership. But here in the U.S., several states, Idaho, Texas, Oklahoma, many, many, many of these useless mayors are doing nothing and don't think they need to do anything, such as the mayor in Florida. What a piece of work she is. Well, anyway, kind of a short video today. A lot of pent-up anger around the world for lack of leadership, especially here in the U.S. Like I said, if it has to do with killing people, we can do it in seconds. We can get people up running, hospitals up, we can get planes flying, we can get huge metal objects flown all over the world, but we can't get masks, respirators, gowns, and other protective gear that the medical establishment needs here in the U.S. So do the people. Do you realize what a disaster is coming? And we're doing absolutely nothing to change this disaster. Nothing at all. We're actually going to put in the same nut who's causing the disaster around the world in the first place. Donald J. Trump.